fear distorts our perspective. Uh, fear can make us uh, think that we see things that aren't really there, or it can make us uh, um, think about think things are real when they're not really real. Uh, and fear just dis distorts what we see and what we think. One time, there was a group of men that came to uh, Dryden from the United States, and they did a work project. And then uh, at the end of the week that they were there for the work project, I took them out fishing, and we went on a overnight camping trip. We went to um, uh, Fen Lake, which is a small lake between Wiccans Lake and Rugby Lake. And we put our canoes in on on Wiccans Lake, and we paddled through Wiccans Lake, went over through the stream, over into Fen Lake, and fished there for the day. And we had some tents, but we didn't have enough of tents for everyone. So some of the men had said, well, I'll just sleep outside in a sleeping bag, and it'll be fine. So when uh, night came, we set up our tents, and those of us that could got into to tents, and uh, one of the men that one of the staff men that was along, uh, he uh, was sleeping outside in his sleeping bag on the rocks there, and and um, <clears throat> then it was forecast to rain a bit, so he thought, well, he's he's going to get some garbage bags and uh, put some garbage bags over his sleeping bag so that he doesn't get wet. So he took the bottom out of one of the garbage bags and pulled it up over the top part of his sleeping bag. And then he took another garbage bag and pulled it up over the bottom of his sleeping bag. And uh, maybe even had a third one. I don't know. But he, he got his sleeping bag inside these garbage bags so that if it rained, he wouldn't get wet. But uh, when it did start to rain, he thought, well, you know, maybe he should just get up into the trees where he... Um, won't be out just in the open as much and be under the cover of the trees. Maybe he won't get as wet. But he had spent a lot of time getting his garbage bags all arranged. And he thought he didn't want to get out of his sleeping bag and then have to get all his garbage bags arranged again. So he just rolled over on his stomach and he got up on his hands and knees inside his sleeping bag and went hopping up toward the bush. Well, one of the other men woke up and just saw this black figure moving up toward the bush. He started yelling, there's a bear, there's a bear. And he came running over to the tent where I was sleeping and said, well, you need to come right away. There's a bear out here. And I said, well, I don't think so. I don't think there's a bear out there. And he said, yes, there is. I saw it. It was heading toward the bush. We should have brought a gun along. We, I knew we shouldn't have come out here without a gun. And I, said, I don't think there's a bear. And so I got up and looked, and and then we found out it was this it was this man hopping up into the bush so he wouldn't get so wet. I don't know. He's might be lucky that we didn't bring a gun because someone might have taken a shot at him if he had uh, if we had had if we had had a gun there. But you see, it was fear that made that man see a bear rather than just a man hopping inside his sleeping bag up toward the bush. Fear does that. It makes us see things and think things that aren't really true.